All right, welcome to Araton Empire, still your G-Town boy, Prince P. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you're watching me from. And this is another episode of The Hard Gist. No time for too much intro because today's gist is very long, interesting, and controversial. And that's why I'll be making it episode one, episode two, and episode three. First of all, we'll be talking about matters arising in Ghana, Nigeria, and also in South Africa. And also, we'll be talking about the opening ceremony of Qatar 2022 FIFA World Cup, all the shenanigans, all the penanigans surrounding it, and who messed up and who effed up, and also live updates of the match. I'll be giving you all the intels and all the includes, and also we'll be talking about P2B, Whiskey, Thames, Jess Brown has scored out Bob Whiskey. These people, then they allow us to rest. I'll be giving you all the intels and all the includes. Just stay tuned, stay glued. But please, before we dodge in, subscribe. Click the notification button and don't forget to like, comment, share with your friends so that you can stay updated anytime, any day I upload. And always remember, this is the only channel that delivers the gist. Very hot and spicy. Just stay tuned. Alright, quickly, let's talk about Baburiski and Papaya. Baburiski and Papaya, they don't throw blow. Honestly, eh? if you see, if you see the kind of war that happened between Baburiski and Papaya, it was very disastrous. And later on, Baburiski came out and he or she, I don't even know, he or she started bragging online and Baburiski narrated everything that transpired. You know, bless her, just the carry the talk. Oh, yeah, roll it. Hey, guys. How are you? Tonight was amazing. Like, tonight was fun. I had so much fun. But I'm actually upset right now. The reason why I'm upset is because Auntie Shijua Day and some other people did not allow me beat that motherfucker up. Like, oh, Auntie Shiju, I'm still upset with you. A lot of people held me. No telling, cow. They're like, they're up to like, they're up to like 10 or 15. They held me. So let me give you the gist. Don't let anybody lie to you. Anything you hear from me is the real truth. Let me give you the gist. So tonight, a friend of mine, you know, is having this press. His son's birthday party, my baby safe. So, of course, I had to turn up for him. So, obviously, obviously, I think he also knows that trashy girl. So, I think he did not invite the girl. It was his wife that invited the trashy girl. So, that's how we got to the party. You know, I was there earlier. So, I was just pressing my phone. Do you understand? I heard she's coming. They told me she was coming, so I was already ready for her. Do you understand? Like, I was fully ready that this night, this girl go chop it in. Let her carry 20 mopo. I'm not scared of mopo. I've passed that stage where I would have, I, I would have fear police. Like, what do you take me for, bitch? Do you think I'll be scared of police? This girl came with three police. Because she knows say my name now talk and do. She go chop pizza. She came with three mopo. She was as I was giving guys this sweet gist. This girl came with three mopo, you know, thinking she's going to escape that beating. So as she was coming inside, yeah, my name was here. I was still pressing phone. Not until my friend now said, Ah, they are coming. So I, I sat up like, okay. So they were like five. They were dancing cultural dance. They were coming inside. So trash. It was dancing cultural dance with people. Somebody else party and dancing cultural dance. She was entering the, the, the party. You know, say if, if if you want to chop knock on your head, God will push you to the easiest place where you will be hide on that. She now stood in front of me. I was sitting down with my friends. She was dancing. Hey! I carry NSC box. They collect her for my hand. NSC box where I carry. They collect her for my hand. 
I was looking. So she, she was in the middle. She was a bit far from me. But I looked around. I saw who I can grab first. God so good. I saw a junior sister. I first of all pushed down one like this. Like, if you want to dance, your rubbish dance is not in front of me. You are coming to dance. I first of all push dance that away first. They were shocked, like, uh -uh. they were still talking. You know, they were wondering uh, what happened. I mean, it's not a sister I want to hold, I want to hold Papaya. So people are still coming me down, like, you know, I was angry. People were holding me. I wanted, I wanted to tear all those beats, all those beats. I've already pulled my jewelry, I've pulled everything. I wanted to tear those things. I was so upset. People were holding me. I just carried the water. I fling it on. Even the police, even the police she came with, the moment the police saw who saw me, hey, the moment the police saw me where I was sitting down, I don't understand. Police come and arrest me in that party. That was, why did you call me police? Ask, let me even ask you, why did you call me police? <sighs> Honestly, in this country, would they try? Would they try? Only one country. We have Bob Risky. We have Jess Brown. We have Potebo. We have Kemiru Lyo. Now, our daddy in the Lord, Tinibu. These people in Nigeria, these people know they allow us to suck our suck in peace and keep feeding bottle. Always they will come out, they will, they will be disturbing us. Like, like, would they try you? We have all these people in one country. These people never allow us to rest. The other day I came out here and I make it see eh? See what I did talk, eh? It did happen no. He never to tell why I talk about portable. And I made it clear that after portable now, the next person that will follow is Bob Risky. The next person is just Brown. And it has happened. Well, first of all, let me quickly, you know explain how it all started now papaya came out on social media to beef bob risky insulting bob risky saying all kinds of things about bob risky you know beefing bob risky now bob risky watched all those things and came out to make it clear that anywhere we see papaya it, it will give him the beating that she deserves and unfortunately they met themselves <laughs> they met themselves on that event and that was how hell was let loose they started throwing punch and papaya <laughs> i don't know whether this bob risky facial expression they deceive you now wait till oh, you the true blow with a man you know very well that Bob Risky na man, you did true blow. You get single bone. You get single bone. You are lucky. You are lucky that you know damage one of your face. Like by now, you'd have been answering mama and not papaya. You are lucky. So after all those shenanigans happened, now Jess Brown has also come out to call out Bob Risky. Instigating another beef again and this is what jess brown posted i need to greet our ex queen a good farewell because i am now the new queen of africa <laughs> if you know me if you know me well you should know that i am always supporting my friends family and fans i don't fight or beef others I don't know if you know say Jess Brown is good in chasing clouds. You don't see say now this issue between Papaya and Bob Risky. Now he wants to capitalize on it. These people they, they disturb also. These people they are disturbing us. They are, sometimes I I I keep on asking who we even offend for this country. Who we offend? Why these people not go allow us to rest? Now, quickly, let's talk about this sad news coming from South Africa. 
Now this is a very sad news. The this South African DJ was shot, and according to the reports, they called him the Amapiano producer. He is the one that started producing Amapiano before Amapiano became popular. Honestly, this one is very sad. I don't know what could be the reason. What could be the reason? Although the police, they have come out to make it clear to the public that for now they are still investigating the issue. They have not really gotten what transpired or what prompted to that. But the investigations has been carried out. And they are carrying out investigation that they will still bring to the public the whole details. So guys, I'll also keep you posted if anything comes up. Alright, so still on matters arising. Now quickly, let's talk about matters arising in the camp of Labour Party. Let's talk about P2B. Hmm. Our daddy in the Lord don't boss out. Tia includes beat in chess, carry Brazilian head. Talk! Talk, say. He bets and he promises us with his life. He promised Nigerians with his life that he will make sure that all the promises he made to Nigerians, he will fulfill it. He rather die than not to fulfill those promises that he made to Nigerians. That whether come rain, come shine, he must fulfill those promises he made to Nigerians. If I they talk now, they look like saying maybe Peter B. Let me read it for you. The president, the presidential candidate of the Labour Party, Peter B. on Monday in Lagos declared he would rather die than fail his supporters. Obi, who spoke at the editor forum, an initiative of the Nigerian Guard of Editor, expressed this while speaking about the support received from his supporters. He said, I did not know many of them, but I vow not to disappoint them. Oh, hello. Is someone catching feelings? See, eh? when someone comes out to vow, you need to understand that he really knows what he wants to do. He really wants to repeat Nigerians. He really wants to do something good. The ladies and gentlemen, I don't need to talk too much. You have heard it. Like I keep on saying, let's be wise. Let's be wise. Very weird.